Hi everyone, welcome to Number One Tutor. This is Constantine, and today we're going over this question that came up in today's Edexcel GCSC Maths exam, Paper One, and we've got a circle theorems question. They're saying we've got points A, B, D, which are points on the circle, and we've got center O. C, D, so this line down here, is the tangent to the circle at D. Now, we are asked to find the size of angle A, D, C. So that would be the angle on the left. Let me go ahead and just highlight which angle it is we are looking for. So A, D, C is the angle we have been asked to find. Now, the first circle theorem that comes to mind is that the radius and tangent meet at a 90 degree angle. So we would simply go ahead and say we already know that angle O, D, E is 90 degrees. You could do simply, you could put a little square there if you want to do, or just say 90 degrees. I'm just emphasizing that ODE, we already know that's equal to 90 degrees. Of course, you would need to justify this. You would need to say that the radius and tangent meet, that's normally how we say this, meet at a right angle. So to get full marks, you would need to justify each step that you've taken using a circle theorem. Then we move on to the other bits of information we have. One bit of information we have here is that we've got this segment, or if you like, what I'm highlighting at the moment is an arc, but the circle theorem we're going to use is that when you have the angle at the center, right here, so that would be BOD, and you've got another angle, BAD, so this bad angle on the left, then because these are in the same segment, they have a special relationship. And what is it? It's that the angle at the center is twice the angle on the circumference. So in reality, we have that bad, the angle bad is going to be equal to half of the angle bod. So that would be equal to 64 divided by 2. That gives us that bad is equal to 32 degrees. So what was the circle theorem we used? Because we need to justify. We have a circle theorem, which is that the angle at the center is twice the angle on the circumference. This is a simplified way of using this theorem or writing down this theorem, if you like, but it will serve our purposes just fine. So we know this angle is 32 degrees. We've already made quite a bit of progress. Now, if we look at this triangle on the left, A, B, something. Now, let's call that something so we actually have a way of talking about this. Okay, that's easier now. So we've got triangle A, B, K. We already know two of the angles, so we should be able to find the remaining one. So if you look at the triangle ABK, we have 32. If we add 51 to that, we get 83 degrees. Now, if we take that away from 180, we've got 180 minus 83. That will give us 90. <clears throat> excuse me. That will give us 97 degrees. So we know that the angle AKB is going to be 97 AKB is 97. We need to make sure that we justify this. We could say that angles in a triangle add up to 180 or slightly more lazy angles in a triangle sum to 180. I used one uh, word less. Okay, so now we know that angle right there is 97. So AKB is 97. I'm going to indicate that with this arrow. Now, if we finally finished working on this triangle, we can move on to the triangle on the right. Notice we have this angle right here, OKD. This angle is in fact equal to the angle AKB because they are vertically opposite, so opposite this vertex. So that means that this angle, I'm going to draw an arrow here, we've got OKD. This must be equal to 97. Because angles OKD and AKB, the one on the left, these are vertically opposite. And we know that vertically opposite angles are equal. We just want to make sure that we've written this down. Um, so they are equal. 
now we have two angles in this triangle. So we can go ahead and add these up and see what they give us. Because we know angles in a triangle add up to 180, 180 degrees. So we are looking at the triangle OKD now. So OKD, what's happening in this triangle? We've got the angle KOD, which is 64 degrees. We've got the angle which is found, which is OKD which is 97 degrees. And if we add these up, what do we get? 97 plus four will give us 101 plus another 60 gives us 161 degrees. So if we take that away from 180 degrees, we get 19 degrees. So we just found the remaining angle right here. That is going to be 19 degrees. So this is angle ODK. ODK is equal to 90 degrees. What did we use? We used that angles in a triangle add up to 180. It is a bit annoying that we have to keep doing this, but we have been asked to, so please bear with me while we justify each step. Okay, now what do we have? We know this is 90 degrees. We know this is 19 degrees, but we have been asked to find the angle on the outside. Well, final step, guys, we're almost there. Notice that all we have to do now is, let me just scroll down a bit. We have three angles on a line. And we know that angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees. So we could simply do 19 plus 90 gives us what? It gives us 109 degrees. So if we do 180 minus 109, that gives us 71 degrees. So what angle did we just find? The angle ADC, which is what we had been asked to find. So we know that angle ADC must be equal to 71. Let's not get excited and just give the answer right here. We've got one more justification. We need to say that angles on a straight line, almost there, they add up to 180 degrees, or we could say sum to 180 degrees. So if we zoom out to see the whole picture, what is it that we've used? We used that the, the radius and the tangent meet at a 90 degree angle. Then we used the fact that the angle at the center is twice the angle on the circumference. If we have the same segment right here, we used that angles in a triangle on the left add up to 180. So we found the remaining angle here, which was AKB. We used vertically opposite angles here to find that OKD is equal to the one on the other side. And then we used angles in the triangle here on the right to find the remaining missing angle. And finally, we used angles on a straight line to find the one on the outside of that triangle, that exterior angle. So let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this explanation, if you did get this right in your exams today, and if you found it tricky compared with other questions that came up in past papers of previous years. Now, all the best with the rest of your exams. Good luck, guys, and see you on the next one.